First fish for the smoker. Yep. He's perfect size to smoke. So we're gonna be smoking some fish. Showing you guys how to do that. This is gonna be one of them. This is a nice size one. Welcome to Sin City. Fish. Hunting and the great outdoors. He's pretty big, yeah, bigger pretty than big. what we've been catching. He ate a big old shad then. He might get out. He's barely hooked, yep. Oh, that's a nice one. He's fat, yeah. too. That's a good striper. He ate one of the big sheds. We put a huge shed on that hook. The biggest one we caught. Got one. So we got some striper. So the first step to smoking striper is we're going to clean them up. So we're going to be smoking these fillets. It's the first step. So let's clean them all up. So at the beginning of this video, I was fishing my friend Mato. We were catching some fish. So now is the part where we're going to smoke them. Here's the fish we're going to smoke. We threw in a catfish too. We had, uh, these are the things you're going to need to make the brine. So you're going to need half a cup of soy sauce, one cup of kosher salt, two cups of brown sugar, one teaspoon of garlic salt. Preferably you're going to want onion powder, but we have minced onions and this will work out fine. So one teaspoon of minced onions, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a cup of lemon juice. You're going to need two quarts of water for this recipe, but most people only have cups, so that goes out to eight cups of water. In my original picture, I had the A1 sauce in here. You don't need that, my bad. Get that out of here. So when you're going to... Uh, smoke something pretty big like this catfish. We didn't flay them out. So what you're gonna want to do is cut all the way to the bone little lines About one inch apart. This will let him smoke all the way through so you don't have to flay him So we mix everything in this thing and then pour it in there because you have to mix everything really well So we're gonna start off with lemon juice half a cup of lemon juice So now we're gonna put the water and then we're gonna mix everything else stir it up and pour it in the bowl with the fish. Just pour the seven. This one's gonna be eight. Eight cups of water. So now we're gonna mix everything else in there. So I don't have a cup. All I have is half a cup measurement. So I'm gonna put four of these in there. This brown sugar is always stuck together. I gotta break it up a little bit. That's three. This is the fourth one. This brown sugar is kind of hard to deal with. It sticks together so well. Alright, that's about four right there. So we're going to put one cup kosher salt. I'm going to just use this. It's faster and easier. It's about a cup right there. One teaspoon black pepper. And now we're going to do one teaspoon garlic salt. And one teaspoon of your onion powder or minced onions. So now you're just going to mix it in there until it dissolves really good. You want it all to dissolve. Okay, so this is my brine. It's dissolved pretty good. So the fish, we're going to put this in there and leave it in there about 24 hours. So I'll get back with you guys tomorrow when I'm actually smoking it. But this is the brine and it looks like it's going to turn out great. It smells amazing. So yeah, you can see all that. You want to get all that good stuff in there too. So it has all flavor. 
Yep, and so we're gonna let this sit for about 24 hours in the fridge, and then we're gonna throw it in the smoker. I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. So this is the smoker I'm gonna be using. Uh, my grandpa gave me this one. Uh, thank you, Papa Don, if you're watching this. Uh, thank you very much. I really like it. <laughs> um, you can hold 50 pounds. It has multiple rows. It's actually really good. It comes with the wood chips and everything already in it, so we're gonna use those. Here's a little bit at the back. What it says on the back, if you guys want to pause it and look at it a little bit. But this is what it says. You can use fish, beef and pork, venison and wild game, wild fowl and poultry, and cheese and more. So a lot of stuff you can use in this thing. Alright, so this is what the fish looks like after marinating overnight. Looks nice. Smells good too. So we're going to go ahead and put them on here. And we're going to put them in the smoker and start smoking them. They feel real tender and everything, so let's just take off the trays. We're going to be trying to save space, so we're going to be putting them fairly close together because we have quite a bit of fish here. So, trying to save space. Then with the first row, we're going to be doing these ones too. So, we're going to put this one here because it has the catfish and everything. We don't want it dropping onto our striped bass. And plus, it'll probably get a little bit more heat because it's bigger down here. So, we're good now. We're going to go ahead and begin the smoking process. Set the smoker outside, we're getting ready to put the fish out. Works perfect right here. So I don't know if this is the best wood for fish, but it came with the package, so we're gonna use it. I mean, it was free, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to go ahead and check on the fish. It's been about four hours. They're outside and it's dark. So we're going to be using this flashlight uh, through night. They're the company that also sent me that headlamp. I don't know if you guys remember. I've been using it a lot lately. So they sent me a, a nice light. This thing's nice and heavy duty. It has multiple settings. Uh, again, low, medium, bright. And then it also has a strobe light. See what goes bright. And then it has a strobe light. So it's it's an awesome light. It, sh it shines super bright. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of this flashlight in, in upcoming videos. Because we're going to be hunting and stuff. Like my dad's elk tag is actually really soon. So you're going to be using this. And the link to their company is in the description. I highly recommend their flashlights. So let's go ahead and go check it right now. So as you guys can see, it's way down there and you can see it perfect. This thing just has an amazing beam to it. And if you don't like it so bright, you can also tone it down. See? But I like it bright, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it bright. So, this stuff's been sitting here in a, for a while. We switched the wood chips a couple times. That's all that's left. A bunch of ashes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. So let's go ahead and open this up. <laughs> Smoked fish. It's probably hot, so we're going to go ahead and be careful. Uh, so I went ahead and checked it. It still seemed a little moist after four hours. So we're going to go ahead and put it in for maybe another hour. Uh, already switched out the wood chips four times maybe. Three, four times. So we're going to go ahead and put it in some more. And that should be good. So just lay them out a little bit. And the thing that's great about this one. Just lift it. Pop it in. And it'll start making smoke. So, I'm gonna come check on it in about an hour. Just leave the wood chips out here. So. 
So this flashlight is amazing by through night. Watch, I'm pointing across my yard and look what just happened. See, that's its brightest setting. You can change it, that's lowest, medium, a little bit brighter, and brightest. And then also, if you turn it off and back on and then hold the little button it comes with, get a strobe light. It's pretty cool. So now it's been sitting for about another hour, a total of maybe five hours. I have myself a glove because it's still hot. Flashlight, let's go ahead and get it. So in about an hour, they all got burned up. So let's go ahead. They should be done now. We'll go ahead and take them out. Well, right off the bat, I can tell that I might have lifted in a little bit too long. When I first checked it, the ones on top looked pretty good. But as you can see, the ones on bottom <laughs> doesn't look like the same case for them. So right now, I'm just pulling it all off, throwing it on the plate. Looks like it's delicious. My brother already ran off with a piece. So yeah, the tray is still a little bit hot, so I'm holding it with the glove and pulling the fish pieces off. So here's a little piece of it. We left it a little bit moist, which is good. You don't want it to turn like jerky unless you're planning on saving it forever. So. This stuff's really good. And if you guys ever heard of smoked salmon dip, we're actually gonna turn this into the same kind of dip, but we're just gonna be using smoked striped bass. It, it looks like it's gonna turn out delicious. So as you guys can see, the ones on the bottom turned out almost a little burnt. Uh, these ones will actually have a longer shelf life though. But um, that's my only complaint is that this model had a top lift, so you couldn't really see what was on the bottom what was going on down there you can only see up here so the ones on bottom ended up being a little bit tougher and cooked longer or almost like they got cooked longer so if I do recommend you guys getting one I heard they make a front open one that'd be the one I recommend so overall this actually turned out really good uh, it's some of it's moist some of it's a little bit drier but those will work perfect for dip so we're going to separate a little bit of this for dip. We're going to show you guys how to make a dip out of it. But a lot of this is really good. Tastes delicious. It actually does remind me of smoked salmon, which I really like. So uh, I'm really enjoying this. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you outdoors.